Hi, I'm in Lewisburg, County Mayo, and I'm here because during the summer I was here on my holidays and I found this incredible shop and I went in and the camera broke down when I was in the shop and I said I'll come back, it may be quieter, but I really do want to show you this shop. On duty in the bookshop today is Trish Hudson. The bookshop is a community bookshop, which means that we have volunteers. In order to keep it going throughout the year, it has to survive with a lot of donations of books. So there's about 70% of the stock is secondhand books. So that makes it quirky uh, in that you come in, you have to browse, you have to look, mm. you have to see what you're looking for. So you'll always find something interesting, but you mightn't come for what you were looking for. Right. So that's what allows us to stay open because we couldn't afford to stock a shop like this in a small rural village okay. like this and stay open all year. We then have new books, which are hugely appealing to tourists. And a, most of our new books will be sold during the tourist season. Yeah, they were nice, yeah. actually. Yeah, yeah. Because this morning they were good. Yeah. yeah. Were you so, well? I was like, that's a, if I can survive that, I think like, Are you a local woman? No, but I've been coming here on holidays since my honeymoon. And we moved here in 2006. Why did you decide to move here? Um, the sea. Did you? Yeah. I swim. I like to swim in the sea. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And my husband likes to climb mountains. Yeah. Right, so it's... You don't have either of those in Navin, so yeah. Oh, so you moved from me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And did you bring children with you? We no, our children were grown at that stage. So okay. now we have grandchildren visiting us and they love it here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But you presumably when you move into an area you're not just moving into go swimming and climbing out. Right? No, 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 we no. You well. do, you do. And we had a restaurant for several years for um eight 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 years we had a restaurant which is what we used to do in Mead so it, it's a tough business and uh, and so then we had to actually stop because the husband had a couple of heart attacks so we stopped okay. yeah All yeah right. so but as a result of that you get involved in the community and I would always have been a community person so I would have been in tidy towns and all that kind of stuff so I'm okay. always I like a community yeah. Great. Yeah. any regrets at all about moving mm. no not at all no not one you don't feel dislocated no me. no sometimes i drive up to visit my family and when i come back i take a big long breath and just let it all go out okay yeah yeah oh yeah she's either slovakian or mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah that's the reflexology uh no this that's oh this is the reflexology oh yeah that's yeah. jennifer jennifer's coming on wednesday it was actually the yoga ah, right, okay. that took my eye yes but there's two different kinds of yoga there now so there's two different kinds. So this one is more, uh, this this one, uh, there's a very a calm yoga and then the Kundalini is quite an active right. yoga. Okay. Yeah. So I'm making a little video about the shop. Right. And I was wondering, do you use as much? Um, no, I <laughs> don't. <laughs> you have to be honest. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Right. well yeah. I am being honest. <laughs> no, I live in Westport, but I come to Lewisburg because I have a house in Lewisburg. Okay. So I spend the summer time, but I don't really come in that much. Into the shop. Okay. No. Okay. no. And but I will get into this. I'm only just getting my... Getting used to it. Yeah, coming in and it's such a beautiful shop. Do the half marathon. I think Ursula's going to do a half marathon. Oh, I've got sketchbooks. I've got notes to self by Emily Pine, which I've heard about. Which is what? What is it? I actually don't know. Short essays. Okay. But my, one of my work colleagues recommended it, and I like a bit of mountaineering, so I think I will take my old messner with me. Okay. And do you live in the area? No. Okay. No. So how did you pick coming in here? How did you decide? I'm, I'm I'm down a little bit of Mayo, so I like to come by and just see what books are here and okay. have a browse and it's a slow pace of looking at books, so yeah. Oh, these sketchbooks are so nice. Oh, that one's a really pretty colour, but I don't need to do a quick runner. Next door to the Lewisburg Bookshop 
is a surprise. Well, a couple of surprises. This is where um, a, a book is born every seven minutes when Anne is okay. when Anne is operating it. Yeah. So we had a 12 year old in here during the summer and he had um, written and his friend had illustrated um, his first book. So he had four copies of that and he's in the middle of editing his second book. They're beautiful books. Right. Yeah, so it's fantastic. How yeah. much does that cost? It depends on the size of the book. So it could be 12 euros, it could be 10 euros. This is a space for co-workers in the area to rent on a daily or weekly basis. At the moment, the co-workers and the hot deskers would maybe have their lunch here or just meet and they're like a little small community mm -hmm. um, and, and they are all have different reasons for wanting to work in an office environment so they're all remote workers and so they sometimes maybe find it difficult to concentrate at home it's much okay. easier to fill the dishwasher or to yes. mow the lawn than yes. to, to, to do your work so they vary from somebody who does accounts to somebody who's teaching english to people in shanghai Really? So, yeah. Oh, all right. yeah. Oh, but this is a saturday so they're not in this today. is a saturday so not in today because they do office hours Fanula O'Dowd runs Living Your Joy workshops, which are drumming and meditation and chanting workshops. Okay. And so she comes in and she clears the energy regularly in order to have the workshops and then she leaves these hanging up. So we find that we've got lovely energy in here. And then up here is, um, this is where, this is what we call the um, silent room. So if you're a long term, if you want to do a lot of um, serious work and face the wall, this is where so we, have, we have the moment we have somebody writing a book, they're in here. So she's chosen beside the window. We have somebody else who's doing um, work with America. So she's chosen the other one. So people, then we have other people who are maybe just writing reports. So it's quiet space. So you don't make phone calls in here. And then this is the slightly more noisy spot. So this is officially the hot desk and spot. So if you were up here, you could in fact make phone calls and um, sometimes it's used for meetings. This is a very nice spot. It's lovely, isn't it? Ah, absolutely. Yeah. Nothing moves there, so there's no cows to distract you. So, okay, and how yeah. much does it cost? 8 50 for half day, and in that you get the internet, so you can have some printing done, and we give you a copy. Did you always read? Yes. So I thought one day I'd be a famous writer. There was a great list in the paper the other day of famous writers all started post 60s and 70s. It okay. was really good. People okay. who yeah. didn't start, I'm not saying, I'm sure you have a long way I'm to go. I'm actually but. one year away from 60. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's okay. I need that list then. <laughs> and do you still write? I do still write, yeah. What kind yeah. of stuff? Oh, fiction, you know. So okay. Yeah, yeah, I will. I'll eventually get it printed next door and that'll be it. Yeah. The one book, yeah. So you have one book in you? I have one book done and I ha I sent it away um, years ago, about six years ago. And uh, you know, you need to have a hard neck when they don't come back. Tell me they weren't cruel. Yeah, they were well, cruel. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't come just, back at just all. never come back. So two places never came back. So I said, that's it. So if it's in a bottom drawer now, I'll start it another one. Yeah. Would you not revisit that one? Oh, I put too many lines through it at this stage. Yeah, I okay. literally put too many lines through it. Right. So no, I'll start again. Can I ask yeah. you what the new one is about? Um, it's about swimming, actually. Oh, is it? Yeah. If you need any help, just ask. Please. Okay. So I had a couple of children in this morning and they were over the, at the children's section, but then children just like books. So she came over here and so we're in spirituality and self-help and she picks up this, which is a very popular book. And she said, I'd say she was eight. And she says to her mum, I think I'd like this book age seven. So her mother said, why, why do you want this book? The girl said, well, it says the things you can see only when you slow down. And the woman said, but aren't you slow enough that you can see all of these things? She said, maybe I'm missing something. Oh that was a moment, wasn't it? Yeah, she didn't buy it in the end. She went off and she bought a children's book, but yeah. I just thought, wasn't that wonderful? Shop. It yeah. was really, really, really expensive. Yeah, in Cork. Where it's really good value in this shop. Yeah, yeah, 